sunny November. Episode 3 Well, this definitely isn't a camp bed. Who said you could come in? I just... wanted to look around. Get out. Out! Okay. Okay, this room will be mine anyway. Never. Nina, have some borscht. Come on. Listen, can I mount this on the wall? Of course. We used here. We used to have a teddy bear hanging here. It's beautiful. Did you paint this? No. It's my brother. My brother. Well, I mean Kirilo Petrovsky. It's beautiful. What's this? Take it. It's money. You need it more than I do. How come you have so much? I've been saving for a few years. Did you put her up to it? How dare you, Natalia? Let go, come on. We need to talk. Let's go. Hide it. Come on. All right. You believe that Larissa needs to get everything that had been unjustly taken away from her? Hard as it is for me, I can accept it. Let her stay at our house for a while. It will be like a trial period both for her and for us, but why do you have to leave? Well, it's the right thing to do. Nina, I don't understand. Do you really want to live in this horrible neighborhood, this shabby apartment? I hate talking about that, but Natalia, Drinks. She's an alcoholic. You already know what your so-called brother is. He's a criminal with dark past and even darker future. Nina, darling. We love you. How can we give you up? Don't you understand? I simply cannot live without you, Volodymyr, tell her, tell her. Mom is right. It's better if you stay with us. But I... You know where I am. Who I am with. And, I mean, we'll be seeing each other. Seeing each other? As if we were your friends or acquaintances, we are your parents, after all. Look at this from a different point of view. Larissa hates her. Kolya can even be convicted. Her husband. He, he died when she was pregnant with me. Mom, she is all alone. She doesn't have anyone. 
and no one can help her but me. Please. Let me stay with her for a while. At least until I leave for the States. I... I've never seen anyone as... lonely as her. Evening. I've cooked dinner. Veal a la Francis, vegetable sauté, and salad. Well, let's have dinner. Then, right? I forgot the napkins. Give me a sec. I won't eat this. Luda, enough, the girl made an effort. Oh, God. I can't look at her. Luda, darling, let's come down. Okay, where is Kirilo? Kirilo, come down to dinner. Okay? Okay, shall we taste it? Did Nina stay there? We'll talk later. Sit down, please. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. Well, welcome back, son. Thanks, Mom. Why aren't you drinking? She's a good girl. She didn't begrudge her money to get you out of jail. You should thank her. No, why? I appreciate it. There is only one thing wrong with you. You're a mimosa. Why a mimosa? A delicate flower. And life is rough. Like meat grinder. It will make mincemeat out of you. She's right about that. You know, you're also a mimosa. Me? I'm like hammer and sickle. I'm, I'm worse. I'm a jackhammer. Sings, oh, Moshe, my dear friend, I'm crying. So, do you want some? I have my tea. Whatever. Natalia, wake up. It's 7.30 in the morning. You asked me to wake you up. Where is she now? 
I see. Drunk off her feet again? Eh. Natalia, wake up. I said get up. Hey, what's your name? Come on, bring some water. Get up. I said up. Natalia, wake up. Let the man sleep. Oh, my dear God. There is a truck full of apples. Do you want me to unload it alone? You know if I ask the guys, they'll want to get paid. You and I will go bankrupt. You have to come. My name is Nina. Whatever, Nina. All right. Okay. More water. Well. Zina. I think I'll go with you. You thought it wouldn't work. I won. The Petrovskis did take me in. What are you doing here? Leave it. What are you doing here? Looking for you. Why weren't you at school? By the way, it was your mom, Natalia, who ratted you out. Come on, we're going home. Where is your bag? I'm not going home. I can't leave until I've sold all the apples. Why is that? Who says so, mom, Natalia? She is relaxing at home, by the way. She isn't relaxing. She doesn't feel well. Oh, she's unwell. I even know why. The entire place smells like vodka. They did well for themselves. Her and her daughter, the butches. Come on, let's go. What are you doing? I've just stacked them. You fool. I can't go anywhere. Because we need the money. Who are we, Nina? Do you mean her? I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Are you going to sell apples? Yes. Come on, buy them delicious fresh apples. Kirillo, you need to be at school. You can't play hooky. I don't need to be anywhere. It's fine. Look at these apples. Come on, buy some. No one will buy them. See. Physical labor is good for you. Look at you. You never eat like this at home. Even though mom's food is better. You know what? Just go to school. <laughs> God bless you. Mom. Yes, mom. With Nina at a cave. She says hi and sends kisses. Okay, I'll tell her. Bye. Thank you for not telling her. 
What for? She hasn't been herself lately, rejoice. Tomorrow we're going to skip classes. We're going to the US Embassy to apply for visas. You should put on something decent, brush your hair, and take off this thing. Okay, okay, that's enough. Let me taste yours. It's better than mine. Good, we have all the papers ready, and we can bring the medical certificates later. Yes. With Larissa's documents. What? Is Larissa coming with us? Considering the situation, we have to take her with us. She is a smart girl, and she has all chances to enroll in a good American university. I think this is the best thing we can do for her. Volodymyr. Yes. This is way too much. Listen, Luda, a child is not a stray kitten. We can't just kick her out, especially after we have already taken her in. No, we didn't take her in. She forced herself on us. Keep it down, please. She'll hear us. I don't mind if she hears. Let her. I'm not up to it. All right. Luda, Larissa is coming with us. I'm glad that Ivan Petrovsky's cause is still alive 50 years later. And the credit for this is due to you, kids, to our beautiful students. So, I'm proud to hand over this certificate of high school graduation for graduating with honors. Point to our pride and joy, the student who has accelerated his graduation, Kirilo Petrovsky. Congratulations, son. I'm proud of you. Here, a certificate on graduation from the ninth form for Larissa Razina, who also accelerated her final tests. I would like to say a few words about Larissa. Larissa is the best student of our school, a scholarship winner a well-read, strong-willed girl who has achieved breathtakingly high results in spite of all obstacles. Congratulations. Thanks. Keep it up, you see. And Anina is at the bottom of her class. They failed her on purpose. If not for this scandal, if you still were the head of the Board of Trustees. Stop it. No one failed her. After all, school grades don't mean anything. Maybe they don't, but you can't write off the genes either. And now the primary school students. Volodymyr, it's time. Go. In a minute, let me just finish with these books. Okay. Mr. Petrovsky, let me do it. Thank you. You're my little helper. What would I do without you? That's right. Please hurry. The flight is at 6 a.m. Mina needs to have a good night's rest. Kirillo, have you packed all your pictures? Yes, Mom. Good. That's good. Nina, we're ready. Dad is coming to get you. Okay.
What is it? She's not coming. Why is he like that? That's not how I raised him. God, what did I do to deserve it? You need to start packing. What time is your flight? Okay, let's call the cops. What? We can't call the cops. Why the hell not? He kicked you out of the house, and you protect him from going to jail. Now, now, now. Look, your folks are here. Relax, it's okay. Nina, what the hell? What's going on? Why are you two outside? Please don't be mad at her. Kolya kicked us out of the house. Okay. Dad. Stop. I'm a prisoner locked out of my life. You bastard. What the hell are you doing? Volodymyr. Listen to me now. If you ever do it again, you'll regret it. You'll go straight to jail, do you hear? No matter if I'm abroad, I'll find a way to keep you under control, got it? Yes. Do you get it? I get it, I get it. Go sleep it off, sleep it off. I'm sorry, Mom, I was drunk, I'll better go. You always do stupid things and then apologize. All right, give me a minute. I'll pack Nina's things. So you're not going? No. Dad, Nina and I aren't going anywhere. Excuse me. Are you both out of your minds? In the car, quick. I'll do whatever you say. Well. Nina. Nina. Come on. You go. Don't ruin your life. I can manage here. I put the picture on the top so that it didn't get crumpled. Okay, that's it. Go, go, go. And Larissa, didn't she want to say goodbye to me? I tried to talk her into it. It didn't work. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for Nina. If anything happens, let me know you have all my contacts. Hang in there, Natalia. Thank you. Thank you. Five years later, darling, wait. What? Are you sick again? 
I feel dizzy and feverish. It's all because of the nerves. Let's find the first aid station. No need. I can handle it. Let's go. Listen, I've never seen anyone to a plane flight this way. That's how I am, darling. Afraid of everything. Irritated by everything. The engine humming, the people talking, and that kid crying, too, Kirillo. My headache is killing me. Let's go to the hospital. Yes, let's go. Okay. Get in. Where are we going, young people? To the nearest hospital. Okay, let's go. Well, you're going to be fine. But what does it mean? What's wrong with me? You should take a good care of her. A lot of vitamins, veggies, fruits, fresh air and, of course, positive emotions. But what's the cause of her condition? Exhaustion. A nervous break, the long flight, you came all the way from Boston, right? Yes. So there. Well, good luck. Stay healthy. Thanks. Kirillo? Yes. I don't trust him. What kind of diagnosis is this? A long flight? Shall we go a different clinic? No, I can see you looking through Nina's pictures all the time. Let's find her first and then have some rest. Okay. Let's go. Are you nervous? What do you think? I haven't seen her for three years, haven't even heard from her. Kirillo? Yes. Let's make it quick. Okay, I don't feel well, and I'm dying to lie down. Okay. Girls, come back. Okay, hi. Hi, excuse me, have the raisins moved out? Yes, they have moved house. Do you know where to? I think they were going out of town. I heard something, but I don't know anything concrete. Here is my card. There's my phone number. If they show up, please let me know. Well, okay. I don't think they will. Though, so, well, goodbye. Thanks.
What's this? Sorry? What is this? A bonsai. What? A bonsai tree, it's Japanese. Nina used to love them. I want to go inside. So go ahead. Another bonsai. Kirilo, we need to something about this trash. It's okay, we'll quickly get it back in order. Thank God Yahora paid me in advance. I almost lost all hope. The way he was stalling this time. Why is Yahorov such a cheap bastard? The exploiter. Mom, you know what? You should better go lie down. Okay. I'll let you know when the soup is ready. Okay, baby. Nina, you are going on your shift in an hour? Yes. Why make all this fuss? Why cook soup? You should rest. We have ravioli. What ravioli? We've been eating them for three days. Listen, I'm sure we had onions somewhere. Again. When are you going to the therapist? I have already paid for it. You shouldn't have. It's nothing but a waste of your money. I told you I'd quit, and I will. I don't trust these shrinks. They expect you. Please, do it for me. All right, next Friday. Can I start on Friday? Sure, but you will go. I will. Kirilo, where are the veggies? Remember what the doctor said. We'll get them tomorrow. I only had time to go to the supermarket, and you don't like supermarket vegetables, so... Yes, you're right, all these chemicals. Kirilo, we need to finalize our plans. I have read up on this gallery just now. It is in the city center, nice location. I think we should take it. So go have a look. Why not go together? Your paintings will be displayed there. Well, who is the manager here? Hmm? Okay. Hmm? One more thing. Where will we celebrate the engagement? Kirillo, I don't want to pressure you, but my mom, you know how she is. She won't leave me alone with this. Wherever, I don't care. You don't care. I mean, I trust your judgment. 
I'm not from over here. Ask your mom. Maybe she can help. Kirilo. What? Nothing. Good. Okay. Don't be mad at me. Okay. Yes. Dad, I'm sorry, got stuck in the traffic. Is this how you do things in America? Dad, we don't appreciate it here. This is the hotel. I hope it will teach you something. If you behave, I will hand it over to you. Until then, it's yours to run. Don't whistle, or you'll lose money. I thought it would be bigger, more clients. Learn to manage this one first. You have to start small. You're right, as always. Good morning, Mr. Lomakin. Hi. Okay. You nitwit, you're here to work, not gape at the maids. Is she a maid? What's her name? I don't remember, Nina. I think, you know, I was wrong. It's a very nice hotel. I like it. You Casanova? Okay, come on. I'll give you a tour. Kennedy, follow us. Here we have tennis courts. The pool is over there. Hey, hey. Hi, hi. Get dressed quick. Marina says the new boss is here already. We're supposed to be in the lobby in five to do the meet and greet. I think I've just seen him. No? Oh, is he cute? I don't know. I didn't have a good look. Is this you and Nina? Where was it taken? Here. Right. Larissa told me it was your grandfather's house. Larissa came to live with us much later, when Grandpa and Grandma had been long dead. She has nothing to do with this house. I see. It's a very nice house. Of course, a kid's paradise. Yes. Kirilo, when you and I have kids, I want this room to be. Oksana, why are you talking about it again? What did I say? Why do you always react this way when I start talking about kids? I want to be alone. I'm sorry. Okay. Leave it. I'll be in the garden if you need me. Kennedy will come to check on you every two weeks. No, every week, right, Kennedy. If you want me to. If you have any questions, problems, difficulties, call me at any time. I can handle it, Dad. I believe in you, son. Don't let me down. Don't worry, I can do it. You have fun on Cyprus, okay? Here. Everything will be fine.
<laughs> God, isn't it great? I'm living a dream. Okay. I have three wishes, and this is going to be the first one. Yes, Mr. Lomakin. Hello, Marina. Could you please send to me your amazing maid called Nina? Nina, you remember her? Of course I remember her. So send her in here with a bottle of champagne and fresh berries. Champagne and fresh berries, you've got it. I'm waiting. <sighs> Berries fresh. Kirillo, I've been cleaning up. Why? Why did you take it away? I wanted the house to be clean. You mean I can't? No, of course not, clean away. No looking at the pictures, no talking about children, no taking out the garbage. Good job. My dear Kirillo, keep it up. It's open. Come in. Do you need anything else? I do, I do. Sit down here, I'll tell you. <laughs> 